Hey, welcome back to the channel where we explore all kinds of creative uses of AI. And one of those uses is, of course, AI animation and AI video. And there's lots of stuff going on out there right now about that. And out of nowhere, Leonardo.ai sent out an email today saying, hey, early Christmas present. We've got a new feature for you, image to video. And you know what? It's pretty freaking good. Let's go test it out. We are on a free Leonardo account. We have 150 tokens to play with, and each of these generations cost you 25 tokens. So you get six of these and nothing else. So. I'm not happy about that one, but it's pretty cool, so let's play with it anyway. When you get to Leonardo, you're gonna see this new option for motion. When you click it, it's basically just gonna tell you how it works, which is find any image that you've created or is on your feed, and there'll be a new image to motion button that you can click to bring it into the animation part. For these tests, I wanna generate images that imply motion. I assume the AI will know how to animate it. So let's do something obvious like old woman dancing. By the way, I'm doing 768 by 768 images with the Leonardo Vision XL model for this. Well, I don't like this because it cut off her freaking head. Old woman dancing at a nightclub. Maybe make it a little more interesting. Okay, great. So all we have to do now is click on generate motion video. It's an icon right here. Let's just do it. So very simple options. The motion strength, we'll leave it right here in the middle for right now. And then the visibility, whether or not everybody gets to see this or not. But since I'm on a free account, everybody gets to see it. So let's hope it's awesome. So as I said, 25 tokens to generate this, but let's give it a go. While that's happening, we can generate another image that we can use next time. How about a stylish ski boat racing across the lake golden hour? Right, we'll get that going. And why not let's just do another one, a piano falling from the sky into a swimming pool. Okay, so what do we got? All right, there she goes. Let's check this out. So not bad. We've got movement going on in the background. She doesn't tear into a million pieces. I mean, her hand gets a little bit wonky, but I am uh, pretty impressed. Let's keep going. We've got these two motorboats here. I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna click this to generate the motion. This time I'll put the motion strength up to seven. Why not? Let's just see what happens. And there's our piano falling into the water. I'll go ahead and click that. I'm gonna go through my credits very rapidly here, but why not? I've only got 31 left, so I can do one more after this. There you go. That's what you wanna see. I think that's pretty much exactly what I had in mind. we be going a little faster, but you know, yeah. Pretty nice for an out of the gate offering, I'd say. Okay, we've got our piano. So it's not falling into the pool. And really, that's not a swimming pool, is it? That's more of an ocean. It's a nice image. I mean, I like the movement of the water. That's really cool. And it's just kind of hovering. The clouds are moving there nicely. So I like it. You could use it in an advertisement for some perfume. Piano, when 87 keys just aren't enough. I'm gonna try eggs and bacon frying in a cast iron pan close up. Okay, this is it. I've got 27 credits left, so I have to use this image. What happens if I pop it all the way to 10? Come on, we gotta go for broke here. Generate. Okay, so I'm not like ecstatic about this one because it starts with a slow pan and then it kind of screws up, right? I was kind of hoping like for some sizzling and some popping and who knows what. Since I'm out of credits, I'll show you a couple I did earlier on another account. I think this is reasonably good interaction. It does get blurry. It looks like they were gonna come in for a kiss or something and then said, I don't know if we should do this. And then we've got this one, kind of a typical image to animation style, but it does a good job. It keeps everything in the background fairly consistent. It's a good shot. Even though this wasn't what I was expecting, I guess I was hoping for the squid or whatever to move around a little bit more, but instead you get the look on his face going, this is my dinner. Again, this was just launched today. There's probably all kinds of tips and tricks I don't know yet because I just dove right in, but the controls are clearly very simple and it's super easy to initiate one of those animations from any image that you've created or see on your feed. So if you go try it out, I'd love to hear what you think of it. And I definitely like the way that it's going. It'll be interesting to see how they advance it. So it looks like in terms of the technology, it's up there pretty close to some of the others that are more popular out there in terms of taking an image and turning it into an animation. So Leonardo's come out of the gate with just image to video, but it'll be interesting to see if they add text to video. It seems like they would since they are an image generation platform. I'm pretty impressed with the quality. I did not know this was coming and my first tests with it were pretty good. And I'm sure that in a few weeks from now, it'll be outstanding. So be interested to see what you think of it if you're gonna play with it at all. So let me know in the comments. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I...